had to pause here a little bit and take a look at how pretty that larch is looking. Uh, this is super heavy log because it was just fallen a few days ago. Um, I have no idea, but my little jack stand. Hey. Welcome back to our dream in the woods. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit different, more milling, but a little bit different. I have um, two nice pieces of larch or tamarack. Western red larch, I think is the official name of that. Um, we also call that buckskin when they get dead standing, they lose all of their bark. Um, that's probably the best sought out firewood there is here in North Idaho. Anyway, two pumpkins there. Um, they're both about 21 feet long and Let's see, this is a small end, so that one's about 14 and a half, and this one here is about 12 and a half. So my plan with the, the larch or the tamarack here is to make some fascia boards uh, to go around the perimeter of the shed here, and also some one and a half inch material um, by six and four and eight um, just so I have that on hand. I need to do some bracing uh, up in the from the front to the back and I, I want to have some nice solid uh, one and a half inch material so um, two really nice logs those just were uh, falling a couple days ago in fact the stump is right there is the stump that we did as we were clearing the ground uh, for the barn. Had to pause here a little bit and take a look at how pretty that larch is looking. Uh, this is super heavy log because it was just fallen a few days ago. Um, I have no idea, but my little jack stand, eh, it was struggling to lift it. Eh, not struggling, but it was all that you wanted to have it do. So, um, next thing when I'm dealing with the log this big is to make sure my back stops are up as high as they go because I have to roll it that way. Uh, there's just too much log on here to roll it to me, uh, which I've been doing with smaller logs, but um, I have to roll it the other way. First two cuts done on that big larch. Uh, I knew my saw blade was getting a little dull. That's a big, thick, dense wood or a tree, um, but it's just a little hard to push. And 
I think it'll do a lot better with a fresh blade. So I'm gonna put a fresh blade on. It's kind of getting towards the end of daylight here. So put that blade on and be ready to go tomorrow afternoon. I got plans in the morning, and but hopefully be out here in the afternoon and cut up some purlins and just some two, one and a half inch material. So anyway, we'll get back to it. All right, we're back out doing this larch. Uh, of course, we have fresh snow. Snowed through the night yesterday and most of today. Um, but I'd say we got four to five inches of heavy snow. Um, kind of thinking that it's time for that to quit, but we'll see about that. But nice temperatures out now and not a lot of moisture in the forecast. So. Uh, made the first two cuts on this larch and our goal is to get some fascia boards out of it, inch and a half thickness and some other inch and a half material. So. Okay, we basically got a square cant. There is some wane there, but uh, it's about 11 inches there and about 11 inches there. So I'm actually gonna cut this down into uh, one and a half inch segments with my one and a half inch. So on that line, which is the one and a half inch and then we'll have them one and a half inch by 11 and then from there we'll cut them down uh, to eight inches and so we'll have uh, some three inch pieces one inch by three which will be nice So I got a question on these little marks right here. They're kind of coming in the center, I'm right at the pith there, which you can kind of see the pith there, right at the end of the center of the tree. Um, wondering if I haven't really come across too much shake I think is what they call it when there's wind stress and little micro cracks they're a little pitchy and not sure if that's what I'm looking at there but Eric and I agree some nice looking stuff man look at those boards just pretty really pretty but They'll be pretty when they're up on the sun on the on the shed here too. <laughs> feet now and we got a total of seven out of that one log awesome looking stuff now we're gonna flip them 
and then I'll have to make a determination if I want those cut those outside boards separate which I might uh, just to do the center cut of those just to take the wing off um, but we'll have five to cut to, to eight inches uh, pretty easily here. There's three one and a half by eight inch. Uh, I should get a measurement on those, but 21, 22 feet long. Um, primo number ones. They just they don't have anything wrong with them. Just beautiful stuff. And so I don't know. Get kind of excited about that. And then we have two here that we're going to edge. Uh, on both sides to get center cut so um, we'll get rid of most of this wane through the outside of the board so that's the last thing on this log. Got enough uh, boards out of that one tree to do all the fascia boards for the uh, sawmill cover so that's pretty cool uh, appreciate watching make sure you hit uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time well i made met, met my match on rolling that one from a flat surface up i just you know i just couldn't budget